Also new at 5:30, a flu warning. The MSPCA confirming the first case of canine flu in Massachusetts. Veterinarians say it's time to get your dog vaccinated. The MSPCA says canine influenza is extremely contagious. That's right. A dog can get it just through nose to nose contact. Wow. NBC 10's Ashley Cullinane spoke with veterinarians about what pet owners should know. This is Indy. He's a six month old spaniel mix with lots of energy. You wouldn't guess that his start to life was rough. His owner, Phil Frechette. When we adopted him in February, unfortunately, he was sick with Parvo. Parvo is an intestinal virus. It sort of just takes everything from the inside and puts it on the outside. Um, so he wasn't able to keep any food down and he wasn't able to keep any food in and he wasn't able to stay hydrated. Dozens of sleepless nights and nearly $10,000 in veterinary bills later, and he's back. Clean bill of health and back to normal and super healthy puppy is going to have a nice long life without any complications. So but not every dog gets so lucky. Veterinarians at the MSPCA Angel in Boston say this month they treated the first case of the canine flu in the state. What's different about canine influenza from like kennel cough, which a lot of people have had their dogs have if they just cough for a few days is that it's one very contagious. So um, just nose to nose contacts like at the dog park or even yeah, walking down the street. It can take two weeks for dogs to show symptoms. So the potential for having a lot of dogs getting ill is high. Veterinarians say most dogs will survive, though like humans, puppies and older dogs are more at risk. They say it's important your pet is vaccinated so every dog can live a long, happy life, just like Indy plans to. To be able to see him do things like this today, uh, we just took him camping to be able to do things like that. Uh, have him go in the ocean. We basically just try to give him the best life possible like we normally would anyway, but everything's a little bit sweeter now that we know we almost lost him. Ashley Cullinane, NBC 10 News.